So let's add a clap now. So once again, I'm going to create a track with an ultra beat on it. And we're going to layer up two different claps. So we want the claps to be on the kind of back beat essentially. So again, we've got these sounds included alongside the pack. So we'll go clap one and let's hear how that sounds. Okay, sounding pretty good. Now, this is a combination of some different layered sounds. And what I want to do is basically just roll off the low frequencies here because we're not going to need those and they can interfere a little bit with the kick. Okay, we'll leave it there for the EQ. We may revisit that later. So let's just drag this in so we have it within the project. And we'll just loop that like so. Then I'm just going to duplicate this track. And I'm going to copy down the MIDI. Now on this second ultra beat, I'm going to replace the clap sound with a second clap, which is a little bit kind of higher, essentially a little bit. kind of brighter and sharper. But what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to create a little bit of a delay, or I'm going to bring it forward in time, essentially. So you can hear that now this is coming, it's kind of flamming alongside the other clap, and I could even push the other clap back a little bit. And what I'm also going to do with this one is create a little bit of a harsh effect, which is where we can basically delay the left and the right hand channel. So it's going to give it a pseudo stereo width. So let's take that clap out. That's what we had originally. Now without the stereo width. Then with the stereo width. Let's try exaggerating it a bit. So what we're essentially doing is creating a delay between the left and the right hand channel. So now we've got a kind of flam within this clap sample that's here on its own. And also that is brought forward in time and is therefore going to be occurring slightly before the second clap, which I've ever so slightly pushed back in time. So it's kind of mimicking that real disco feel of people clapping together, but them doing it out of time and it creating that kind of flammy style effect, which can kind of thicken the backbeat, essentially thicken the clap, which is quite nice within this genre. So let's have a listen to these together once again. Okay, so we could try some further EQ here. I might just try a little boost around a 1K on that kind of early clap. I might bring the roll off a bit higher here. Okay, and on the original clap, I might try something a little bit similar. bit lower. I'm going to bring down this roll off a little bit. I may even try a little boost around the low fundamental here because this has got a snare lead in it. So actually I'm just picking out the snare fundamental a little bit. Might try rolling off a little bit of the high end on this first clap. And then something I do a lot here as well is just play around with the envelopes just to try kind of different lengths to the sound.
try looking at a second clap. So we can get different lengths to the tail. And also, of course, we need to kind of blend as well, make sure we have the right volume for these. Yeah, I think that's working quite nicely. So now we've got a nice kick and snare clap combination, which is going to form the foundations of the track. So let's have a little recap in this video. So we loaded up two clap sounds. One was a little bit behind the beat, and the other one was brought quite far forward ahead of the beat. And of course, we can experiment with different lengths here. feeling quite nice. So we had a little bit of EQ here, just to pick out certain areas, roll off some of the lows and some of the highs. That was on the first clap. Second one, something similar there. I'm just going to take down that boost there a little bit. And we very importantly delayed one of the channels with the sample delay to create that stereo width. And that clap, obviously, as I said, was brought forward and the other one was pushed back in time. And that gave us this. Okay, so now we've got a kick and clap foundation. Next video, we're going to add some kind of higher frequency drum sounds in the form of some hats. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.